I'm Tabby and I have a finished object I want to share with you. So, do you think I only knit um, negative V's vintage style sweaters? Well, you're wrong. Because this time I made a giant chunky cardigan that I can wear over my negative V sweaters. Ta-da! It's so thick and cozy and warm. So, this is the finished object I want to tell you all about. So, let's start with the yarn first. I had made a project in the past out of this yarn, which is the Bernadette, the Bernadette Soft and Chunky in black, obviously. Um, and I had made this kind of wrap style hood thing. So, it was a hood, but it had a, like a long scarf attached that you could wrap as kind of a neck thing. And it had cables in it. And I thought it was really cool and um, I knit it and it required a size 11 needle and um, I made it. It wasn't very wearable so I didn't wear it that much and then I finally just ripped it out because I thought I'll have this yarn to make a nice cardigan out of that I'll wear more. So initially my thought was I had bought four skeins of this yarn for that project. And I think I had like one and a half left over maybe. Um, so I ripped that all out and I was thinking I would knit the um, Spencer jacket, aka the Carrie Crop cardigan out of it. And I had bought the needles I needed for it because I didn't have them, which are a size 15. And I mislaid that pair so I actually bought two pairs. Um, but I tried it in the two different... Um, I tried it in my bus size, it was too small. I tried it in the next size up and again it was too small. By that time I was just frustrated and I said, what the heck, it's a free pattern. Other people had problems with this pattern, I'm gonna move on. So, I have made a couple of things out of the bubble stitch, which is you're knitting and then you're purling and then you're knitting and you're purling and you have four rows and then you knit four below and it, it creates this really cool texture. And I did that in a couple baby blankets and like a cowl and I really wanted a garment out of it and I thought it'd be really cool. So I was looking around for different patterns um, and ultimately the one I ended up with is it also a free pattern but this one's really good. It's not bad like the other one. So it's the bubble stitch cardigan and it's an intermediate pattern so I think it's pretty easy. I think it's maybe more of a complicated, like a... A, a beginner could probably do it if they were more confident than like a, a new beginner, if that makes sense. So this is actually put out by Paintbox, Paintbox Yarns, and there's a couple things I did different for this. I made this and the, like I said, and this yarn. Um, I started up with four skeins. I made the smallest size. This is a size small. I knew it was going to be big and oversized. It's not typically what I like in sweaters or cardigans, but I figured, you know, it's the pattern, um, the stitch pattern that I really want, and it's the yarn I have, and it's a free pattern. How could I go wrong with this? So, this pattern is actually called for two, and it's a paint back to yarns, and I just used the one I had. I It calls for two different colors, and I just made mine in solid black. So initially in this pattern, you're supposed to do one bubble, one row of bubbles in one color and then switch it to the next color and alternate. So you kind of got like a stripey effect going on. But I just wanted basic black. So like I said, I made the size small. Um, and it seemed, oh, this was my first seam garment. And I'm not a fan, let me tell you. Really not a fan of seam garments. It took me forever to sew it up. Not, 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 not a fan. Anyway, so you start with the back, um, and you knit that from the bottom up, so you start with the rib, and then you do your bubble stitches until it's so long, so many inches long, and then you do the neck, you put the neck on hold, and um, you bind off on the shoulders, and then you do the fronts. So what frustrated me a little bit about this pattern is, like I said, you do the back in so many inches, but on the front it says, not inches, it says when you work so many less rows, let me see, yeah, when you work 46 rows fewer than have been worked on the back, that didn't make sense to me. So if you're counting by inches on the back, but counting by rows on the front, why didn't they give you the inches in the front? So 
I didn't thought that meant halfway through, so I started my decrease for the slope here for the neck piece, so you're creating a V on it. Um, I started about halfway through, I was guesstimating, um, which I don't think was correct because by the time you're done decreasing for your shoulder slope, you're supposed to have just five rows left, and I hadn't done the five rows, and then I bound off on one of my um, sides, but it was shorter than my back, so I had to unpick my bind off, add another inch, and then it was fine. So I think about that time, I had run out of yarn, so I would used all my four skeins, or it was probably more like three and a half um, skeins of the yarn I had in my stash for the sweater. So I ended up ordering three skeins more from my local Joann's. I went and picked them up, and I proceeded to, you know, knit more. So by the time I was done with my first sleeve, and I was looking at it going, I have long arms, I'm six foot, these are probably going to be too short. Um, I tried it on, I was like, I probably need to add an inch. So by that point, and I had, you know, unpicked off my bind off and added an inch to the sleeve as well, I had run out of yarn. So I had to order more yarn, which I thought I had ordered one skein, but it ordered two skeins, which ended up being okay because I have this much left for my last skeins. Um, and I had enough to knit the second sleeve. Um, I had, um, what I did was I, you're supposed to knit all it in pieces, and I did knit all the pieces, but you're supposed to knit like both sleeves and then um, do the seam the shoulders and do the neckband. What I did was I knit one sleeve and then seam the shoulders and did the neckband and then tried it on to see if it would be long enough because I have long arms and most of the time things are short on me. At that point I added the inch and then I the cast on the second sleeve. Um, so adding the inch I think actually made them a little bit too long. Um, it's right at the heel of my hand. Which is fine because, you know, I can pull it down and it makes it all nice and warm and cozy. Um, which, you know, it's not a bad thing. Um, and it's oversized anyway, so I think it works. Um, yeah, since it's oversized, you know, it doesn't have to fit, like, super great. So, for the most part, I think it does fit pretty good. Um, on the sleeves, what you do is you do cast on a certain amount of stitches and then you increase. Um, and you stop increasing at so many stitches, so you kind of got this kind of like, I guess, battling bubble effect. But for me, because my cast, my bind off is too short, I have, it comes in, it's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, I think for a free pattern, um, and I think that was the only really issue I had was the front wasn't in inches, it was in rounds, where the back was in rounds. And the back was in inches and the front was in rounds, so that didn't make sense to me. Um, I did misread some of the pattern on, like, where I was supposed to start the bubble row on either the front or the back, so it's probably not as nice as it would have been as they had written it, but I think it still turned out fine. Um, this is an open front cardigan, so you're not doing really buttons. You're picking up the button band, um, and I didn't block this because... I'm thinking, it doesn't, it says don't steam lock, so I'm thinking, you know, if I really truly got it wet, it's going to be massive and heavy, and it's going to, like, warp out of shape, so I think it's fine, I think it's cute with a hand knit sweater underneath, a short sleeve, or a sleeveless hand knit sweater underneath, um, with jeans, and I also think it would be really cute over, like, a sundress, um, Maybe a t-shirt and jeans as well. There's different options. Um, it is more of a casual garment um, necessarily than like my vintage style sweaters which are a little more dressy of a garment. So anyway um, that is my bubble stitch cardigan that I made and I am excited about wearing even though I'm seasonally always inappropriate as my brother says because it's beginning to look like spring outside now and I think it's going to be a little too warm for this but maybe you know in, in the winter it will be good. Um, in some ways it's almost more like a coat than a cardigan. I think it's warm and thick enough that it would be okay to wear outside as outerwear. Um, yeah. It's like I said super chunky and oversized. Um, I'm not a huge fan of a bulky weight yarn if I didn't say that it's a bulky weight yarn. Um, it's not my favorite uh, weight of yarn to knit with, but 
It was a relatively quick project. I think what held me up the most was running out of yarn, buying more yarn. Um, the second time after, I used about eight skeins or seven and a half skeins in this project. I think what held me up the most was having to buy more yarn. And so the first time when I um, bought more replacement yarn, I bought, and I bought it from my local Joel Ann's. And when I went back to buy more yarn the second time, they were out. I had bought in the last skeins. So I had to order it from online, which took a little bit to get. Um, so it took me roughly a month to make this cardigan. Um, but yeah, it was a relatively quick. I think the longest part was the back, just starting with the back and knitting the so many inches. Um, the fronts were pretty quick. Um, yeah. So I'm really happy because it's super textured and I like, like I said, I was looking for a garment with a stitch. And yeah, basic black is good. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments about sweaters or cardigans um, that you think are great patterns, let me know. I'm, I'm always keeping my eye out for patterns. And I, I think 2021 is the year of the garment for me for this is my second finished object in what, two months? Um, so I think that's pretty cool. I'm excited to knit all the sweaters. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, leave them. Um, and stick around. I, like I said, I think 2021 is the year of the garment and uh, be knitting some more. <laughs> Happy crafting!